Good afternoon. Welcome to Quilling, a twisted art form. Today we'll be working on a floral design that's relatively simple using simple circular curls that are manipulated into different shapes. We'll need quilling paper of various widths and sizes, quilling needle, curling tool, uh, glue and a dispenser, uh, tweezers, background paper, and probably some scissors. This is a cork project board, which is really nice, but not an absolute necessity. They are nice to be able to coax your curls into different shapes. This is a quilling needle used to move things around or apply glue. Uh, tweezers for moving things around. This is a curling tool. It's got a little slotted uh, end. That's where you're going to put your quilling paper. We'll need some scissors, uh, glue, and a dispenser. I like to put mine into a shot glass with a wet paper towel so that the needle doesn't get stopped up. Um, and then quilling paper of various widths and sizes. Here's our project, and these are we're going to work on these little petals first. We're going to take the paper and insert it into the quilling tool and twist the more shiny or smooth side of the paper is going to be on the outside of the curls and you'll just continue to curl that up until you get a little circle and we're going to insert that into the design on the quilling project board. Kind of let it ease itself out. Then we'll add a little glue to the edge of that paper. It's kind of important not to use a lot of glue. You want to keep it neat as you can. Just kind of gently squeeze that together. We'll do that again just in case you missed it. It's a pretty easy process, but you just have to make sure that the smooth side of the paper is on the outside of the curl. You slide it in there and just begin to twist. These pieces of paper are 15 inches long by 3 millimeters wide. Um, that's kind of a standard width. For some projects, you might go a little wider or as wide as a 10 millimeter paper. And again, we'll put a little glue. This time we're going to use our dispenser. It's important to be neat with this. <laughs> I usually keep a wet paper towel around on my lap so I can clean up after myself. There's a leaf. That's going to be the next thing we make. Um, those are easy, just little curls, and we kind of manipulate them by pinching the ends and turning them. Again, you'll notice that this, um, this softer, smoother side of the paper is the one on the outside of the curls. We're going to take that 15-inch piece of paper and cut it in half for the leaves. that together and set it aside. Depending on your design, you can decide how many leaves you want to create. Um, I do recommend um, drawing out your design first so that you've got a good idea of how many pieces you'll need and um, what colors you might want to use. And this is one of the loosely um, curled stems. You know, those will be a larger leaf or stem. I've put two different colors together and um, we'll kind of pinch one of those ends and 
create like a leaf, a longer leaf. This floral design is a lily of the valley. I think it's May's um, birth flower. So it's kind of a fun little project today. All right. Let's see how we've put two different color papers together. And you can curl those together. We're creating a stem using two different colors of paper. And the next thing we're going to make is a little receptacle for the petals. Uh, we're going to insert the dark green three millimeter paper into the curling tool. And we're going to create um, probably three of these little, um, almost like a U or a V shape. for our petals to fit into. When we get finished curling it, we're going to glue it. We kind of allow them to relax just a little bit to ease some of that tightness out and glue it. There we go. And we're going to shape this one by pinching it between our fingers and thumb into kind of a U or V shape. So that's going to hold our little petals of our flower. And you see how those will fit right in there. And then our leaves will... will um, work with that dark green. Here's our project and these are the petals. We're going to um, cover those white petals with a dark green paper around them. So here's our little circles that we pinched into a kind of a teardrop shape. We're going to take that dark green three millimeter paper. It's probably a half of a half of a piece of it. We're gonna put it around the edge of our little petal and cut that to fit. There we go. Now each one of those will create a little flower and it'll fit inside the little dark green piece. And that's going to be our stem. Um, it doesn't take much glue, but it works really well to drip, uh, drop your stem into the glue. Just the, the tiniest edge of that stem. You don't have to have glue all over the paper. In fact, um, you want to be pretty sure where you're going to put it before you stick it down. Now we're going to put our little receptacle flower, little re flower receptacle. <laughs> the thing that holds our petals in place. And you'll see we can get some of that glue off, but um, it will show if you aren't careful. Those tweezers come in handy for dropping that element into the glue. There we go with that second one. And the third. There we go. Those little boogers will get away from you. And you can manipulate the shapes a little bit at this point. We're going to put another stem on. Notice how the double paper creates kind of an open um, stem look. It, it allows it to look more natural than just one single piece. And you can experiment with different 
shapes and different sizes of paper to um, get the effect you're looking for. Again, just the very edges of that paper in the glue. We also dilute the glue just a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be um, just out of the bottle. We uh, used Eileen's Tacky Glue. That's a really good versatile glue. Um, there's some really awesome videos online uh, with some people who are very talented. One of them being Paper Zen. Um, it's a gal who does this a lot. Some really nice work. And our last little flower receptacle. And we're going to add our other petals of our Lily of the Valley and some stems and leaves. It really pays off to be neat with this and keep your fingers out of the glue if you can. This is one of those things where you can curl the paper, you can twist it and manipulate it to suit you. This has been a lot of fun to learn how to do. It is time consuming, um, but you could sit and make curls while you're watching a movie or a video or something and then um, after you're done then you can put all your projects together. So we're just trimming off some of those little stems. We're going to add some of those little leaves that we've, the tiny green curls that we've manipulated into something that looks a little more like leaves. Again, this is a very simple design using uh, simple curls. Um, you can get really elaborate. But thanks for joining us.